What's up guys, it's Tim here. We are back with another episode of Stock Price Predictions. Hope you guys are having a great weekend and I wanna get you guys prepared for Tuesday. Let you know what's going on with the stock market and what we think is gonna be happening with the market on Tuesday. This is not financial advice, so do your own research when investing. But I am here to give my opinions and help you guys out. So the main topic that we need to be on other than inflation, which is going to drive the market down, is we are going to be speaking on the invasion of Ukraine and Russia. Are they going to invade? Well, every day Biden keeps getting intelligence that we are going to invade. With an invasion is going to pull the stock market down. All the investors are going to be taking their money out. So it's going to affect the market a lot. All of us retail investors that are in the market now, our money is going down. The index funds, for to say the index funds are down 10% from their all-time highs. The small cap stocks are down. Some are down, I would say an average of 50%. They are down huge. Okay, so with the big investors pulling out due to the fears of Russia invading Ukraine, it's driving these prices down a lot. Also with inflation, which March 15th, March 16th, save those dates. The Fed's coming out to speak again, and the Fed is going to tell us how much they are raising the rates. We're all expecting that he's going to raise it a half a percent, which that's not enough to get this inflation down. So we can expect the market to continue to fall until we can get inflation down. Inflation each month for the last year has become again higher than expected. Last month we expected 7.3%. It came in at 7.5%. The month of January, rent across the nation has gone up 10% in one month. In Miami alone, it went up 35%. Okay, so that's enough about inflation. I'm sure you guys all know about inflation and what's going on with that. And it's not going to be uh, solved any time soon. There is a recession coming. So follow my channel and I'm going to keep you guys updated. So you may think that there's not one coming, but when this recession happens, you guys will know that I've called it and I'm calling it right now and I'm here to help you guys out. So be very careful with the market right now. Okay, so let's talk about Russia. It does look like Russia is going to evade. It does not look like they're backing down. Last week, and when they said they were going to withdraw, that was a lie. They didn't withdraw. They actually added 7,000 more troops. Okay, so now they have a total of 190,000 troops on the borders of Ukraine. Um, they're bringing in hospital tents. They're adding more tanks. They're bringing in helicopters. And a thing to look at is why are they bringing in hospital tents? That's not for training purposes. They're getting ready to invade. As you can kind of follow the crypto, since the market is uh, closed right now, you can follow crypto and you can see that it's going down. It's been going down all weekend due to the fears of the invasion. Um, now, if you're following crypto and you start to see it spike and start to climb again, you can check the news or come back to this channel and I will let you know that there's good news happening with Russia invading the Ukraine. But right now, the crypto is following that. The fears are getting high. Crypto is falling. Um, so if Russia does invade, it's going to drive our gas prices up very high. They're already high enough across the country. Um, if they invade, it's going to make them go up even higher. Now, when the barrels of gas get to over $120, every time that's happened, there has been a recession. So we have that at, uh, pushing us towards a recession. Inflation. Um, wage price spirals, everything. So the, the Russian invasion is just adding on to it. Recession coming in the near future, okay? So when the tensions rise between Russia and the Ukraine and the world involving that, tensions rise, the market prices fall. And then when the tensions decrease and they start to pull back and withdraw Russia, that's when the um, market will 
get some gains and heads to head to somewhat of a bull market even though we won't be in a bull market we won't be in a bull market for a while until we get this inflation under control or we get good news from the fed on march 15th or march 16th mark those dates okay um so how are you you guys portfolios holding up how are y'all doing or should i ask how much are you down because nobody's up right now unless you're buying puts puts are the only thing to buy right now everything is going down and now unless you're an investor for the long term which is you know at least five years you will be okay but in the short term if you're day trading or swing trading you're not going to make money everything is we're on a downward spiral with the whole stock market we may get some gains but we're not going to get into our all-time highs I hope you guys have found this video helpful I will be back more to keep you guys posted on what's going on with inflation and the Russia situation um, let's hope we get a withdrawal of, of some troops because last week when we got the rumor of a withdrawal the stock market started going up again and then as soon as we found out that was a lie the market tanked so unfortunately the market won't be open tomorrow we can follow crypto um, so maybe we'll get some good news but they are expecting expected that they're waiting for the Olympics to end before the invasion happened just because Russia and China are very close they're friends and Putin didn't want to does not want to make China upset by doing it while the Olympics are going on so now the Olympics are gone we are on high alert so more than likely the stock market will fall on Tuesday due to the fears all right um, please hit that like and subscribe button um, if you want all the news coming up that's affecting the stock market follow this channel subscribe hit the notification and I'll give you a prediction on what the stock market's about to do remember we are coming to a recession there's no way around it the stock market is crashing we're in a bear market it's not turning around anytime soon so be very careful do your own research when investing all right i'll see you guys on the next one